We all knew it was coming, but publisher Focus Home has once again directly mentioned the Year 3 Pass to the digital off-road trucking community. The SnowRunner Year 3 Pass has been officially confirmed yet again, only this time it was in a direct post addressing the SnowRunner community. SnowRunners? SnowRunnians? Anyway, speaking in its November 2022 SnowRunner community update, Focus Home said, 2023 will be as busy as 2022 with the future Year 3 Pass! Exclamation mark. More info will be revealed in the upcoming months, so make sure to stay tuned. Now the wait begins for either an announcement of a roadmap, or the first bit of 2023 DLC content, likely Season 9 Phase 9, added to the public test server build. Because as most of us know, new maps and trucks usually end up on there first. With December not getting a community update, as is tradition, Focus Home used the November words to talk about some SnowRunner milestones. In 2022, the publisher said it and developer Sabre Interactive had released 12 new vehicles, 5 new maps in 2 new regions, reached 9 million players, all of which should have subscribed to a tribe called Cars, as well as 100 million mod downloads on mod.io, and generally improved the game. Of course, with some instability on Xbox, co-op issues, not so good steering wheel and accessory support, and still no mods on Nintendo Switch, there is much to do besides release juicy new content. Hopefully the devs can do us loyal truckers proud. Unfortunately, I do not have a release date for Switch mods. Before the end of the year was the last I heard, and that is not so far away now. I've already had my first mince pie of the year, and the tree goes up this weekend. Anyway, when talking about what's next, Focus Home concluded, now it is all eyes on 2023. We have got so much cool stuff in our bag to show you, so we hope you will be there next year. Don't you worry, home scones, I will be there making average videos about digital trucks and cars, maybe even some real ones. What can we expect? Maps in Europe, a Tega King neon lights kit, a highway map, snowplow, customizable garages, manual gears, more curtains, one can only hope. Whatever the case, I think Season 8's Grand Harvest was a big step in the right direction after a not so convincing Season 7 compete and conquer. On that note, feel free to let me know what you think the Year 3 Pass would include, or complain about the bits that still need work. Subscribe and like, join, take care, bye.